Yeah, uh, hi peeps. Uh, James back on the, the smoke box once again. Um, one of the, the topics that was uh, brought up on question time the other night there was uh, the minimum price of alcohol. Uh, they want to uh, in England. Uh, they tried to bring up in Scotland uh, a minimum price for alcohol and. Uh, Apparently we passed it in Scotland and then it was taken to the European Court and they're probably going to say that Scotland doesn't have the right to impress that minimum price upon the, the supermarkets. Blah de blah de blah, right? So they're going to be able to sell their cheap booze you know, in order to entice people to come there, buy the booze, but buy all the shop in there as well to get the booze, you know what I mean? And it's it's like a lost leader type of thing. And on question time, a, a politician turned around to you know, a young man and says, oh, people will just buy their drinks cheap from the offices and then drink at home rather than going to the pub. And this politician, he's a Labour politician, he says, no, young man, you're wrong. The reason we need to raise the price of alcohol to a minimum price per unit is uh, the, the, the supermarkets are selling their cans of lager at less than a normal can of lager, of lager price. They're losing money on their cans of lager in order to entice people to go to the supermarket where they'll buy their cans of lager in bulk, you know. And while they're there, they'll buy all their other stuff at the supermarket, all the food and stuff, you know. And I was just thinking, well, you don't have to increase uh, a unit of alcohol across the whole country to deal with supermarkets. You simply say that supermarkets are where you buy food and we're not going to give supermarkets a license for alcohol. It's as simple as that. You simply just pass a law saying that if you're a supermarket selling, selling food of a, a specific sort, that is, all the stuff that a supermarket sells, we're not going to give you a, a license for alcohol. Now that would be the sort of legislation that I would pass if I was a politician in order to correct this selling alcohol under the price of pubs, clubs and uh, local off licences. And then people wouldn't be going to the supermarket to buy alcohol, they would only be going there to buy food. And let's face it, if you took away that lost leader from the supermarkets, the alcohol lost leader, they would have to sell food certain food items as a loss leader to attract people to the supermarket which let's face it if you go to a supermarket you go there to buy food you go there to buy your turkey your chicken your potatoes your fruit your veg your dry goods your tins you know the soft drinks the crisps you know we got those big 18 packets of crisp bags you know what i mean that's that's you know your bread you know your fish your meat, you know, that's that's what you go to the supermarket, well, that's what I go there for. And also because they sell waiters of whisky for like 15 quid a bottle. But you know, uh, yeah, so, but if they, if, if I couldn't get my, my, my whisky for 15 quid, I would still go to the supermarket to buy my fish. You know what I mean? Buy my, my salmon cutlets, my, my oysters, you know, uh, you know, my, my squid and, you know, my, my bream and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I would still go there and buy that, you know, fresh, fresh stuff, you know, fresh, fish, you know what I mean, oh, brilliant, you know, and I would, I would go there and buy my bread, my, my cookies, you know, and my bagels, you know, fresh baked bread, fresh, fresh baked apple tarts, you know what I mean, uh, my beef, you know what I mean, my pork, my lamb, I would still go there because there's not a, a butcher near me, I've got to go to the supermarket to get my thing, you know. So yeah, I would still go there to buy that, I just wouldn't buy my, my alcohol there. So I, I would say is a, the British government should just turn around and say to all supermarkets across the whole country, we're taking your, license, your alcohol license off you. We're allowing you to sell food you know, on a massive scale to, to the populace of our country, but we're not allowing you to sell alcohol anywhere because you've abused the license. Simple as that. You say you've ab you've abused the license. You're putting other alcohol sales out of business in order for you to monopolise a certain service to people. And the Monopolies Commission should come in and say, 
if you're going to drop the price of all these alcoholic beverages in order to get people coming to buy your food, that's putting people who only sell alcohol and don't sell food, you, you're putting them and their people who, who what they're at risk. Their jobs are at risk because of you. You're abusing the license, so we're going to take your license off you. Simple as that. That's what I would do as a legislator. That's what I would do. Now, I don't know if MD also there thinks that I'm crazy. Oh, you're a crazy, mad Scotsman with these crazy, wild ideas of, you know, banning people from making a living. I'm not banning you from making a living. I'm just saying I'm stopping you from destroying other people's livings. You know what I mean? It's, it's a live and let live. Big supermarkets, you know what I mean? Your Asda's, your Tesco's, your summer fields. Yeah. Take your fucking alcohol license off you. So the pubs and clubs and so, uh, you know, local super, uh, local uh, quickie marts, so say, local, yeah, they can make their money because that's where they make a lot of their profit, you know. I would even say that supermarkets shouldn't be able to sell tobacco. I would take their license for tobacco and the license for alcohol off them. You're a food fucking seller. Sell food, motherfucker. I would also stop them from having fucking uh, petrol fucking sales as well. Yeah, fuck it. No wonder there's no local garages now and you've got to go to a supermarket to get petrol. Because they undercut the price of every cunt else. For every 50 quid in food you spend, you get another two pence off of every fucking gallon you buy. I mean, fucking hell, that's, that's got to be fucking you know, illegal, you know what I mean? I mean, a garage can't do that, you know what I mean? A garage that just sells petrol can't do that. So I would say, you know, I would take the license for selling alcohol off them, I would take the license for selling tobacco off them, and I would take the license for selling petrol off them, and I would just leave them as huge, big, gigantic stores in the middle of fucking nowhere with a huge car park that sells food. Because that's what you're fucking supposed to be. Supermarket. Food supermarket. That's what you started off with, that's what you fucking are. That's what I would do. Legislation? I'll give you fucking legislation to sort the problem out. You see, that's just me. I've got a brain that thinks in a certain way. And I don't give a fuck that I'm going to piss some people off. Because you know what? See, the people who sell fags and fucking alcohol and petrol, they all gonna go, they're all going to be going, Yeah, hey, James, you're fucking right, mate. You're fucking helping my business out. You're going to keep me on the fucking straight and narrow. I'm going to be making money. I might even employ a couple of people extra. And fuck the supermarkets. You know what I mean? They make fucking millions anyway, and most of them don't pay enough fucking tax because they're shipping it over fucking seas. Yeah. So let's have a lot more fucking mini stores, local garages, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's have a lot news agents and fucking little mini fucking markets and fucking garages, local garages in the court. Let's have more of that and less fucking supermarkets soaking up all the fucking money and not paying tax on it, motherfuckers, you know what I mean? And paying fucking shit fucking wages and all the cunts. Would you want to work for fucking Walmart? I fucking bet you don't. Would you like to work for a local fucking garage who starts selling their petrol because Walmart can't? A supermarket who starts selling their alcohol and tobacco because super, the Walmart can't and they can give you a few quid extra a week, a few hours extra a week? Of course you'd fucking like that. And that's what my legislation would do. It would improve the economy of the smaller business. And it, it might stimmy the Walmarts and the Tesco's fucking, you know, the summer fields a little bit, but you know what, they would still make money. People would still go there to buy their bread and their beef and their fish. You know what I mean? The dog end up being a bit happier at the end of the day. We don't end up being a bit happier at the end of the day. Well, I think so anyway. But if you don't think I'm right, well, don't vote for me. 
Not that I'm not trying to refrain this in, but don't vote for me. <laughs> Stanchy fucking bad motherfuckers.